An eight-year-old boy who police say was murdered by his grandfather is being described as a fun-loving child. Yeah, the little boy was killed yesterday. The suspect later taken into police custody. Fox 4's Alex Boyer spoke with the child's great-grandmother today. Alex. Hi guys, a sad situation. You know, investigators have yet to release a possible motive for this fatal stabbing. Now, a spokeswoman with Child Protective Services says the agency has no history with this family, but added that they now are investigating of the boy's death. As you mentioned, I did speak with his, uh, the eight-year-old's great-grandmother, and she says she just saw him on Thanksgiving. He was just a beautiful little boy. He didn't deserve this at all. Linda Hubbard drove down from Missouri after learning her eight-year-old great-grandson had allegedly been murdered by his own grandfather on New Year's morning. You can't even put words almost to it. According to Richland Hills Police, 62-year-old Philip Hughes stabbed the boy to death inside Hughes's home located off Labadee Drive. This call initially came in um, by a 911 call from a resident in, in the home. Hubbard said the boy and his parents were living with Hughes. She said it was supposed to be a temporary situation. And they were staying here with the with the grandfather right now until they could get them another place to live. They kind of stayed away from him. Because, and I you know I can't say much about that. A spokeswoman with Child Protective Services said the agency has no prior involvement with the family. Hughes does have a previous arrest and conviction for driving while intoxicated. Upon arrival, um, officers made entry into the residence and located what we know now to be a deceased eight-year-old male. There was a weapon, a, a edged blade weapon involved in this incident, and that weapon has been recovered. Hughes had fled the home. Officers found him a short distance away. A neighbor's ring camera captured the moment they spotted him. Hughes was taken into custody without incident. We have lots of questions just like everyone else has and um, throughout the investigation we hopefully will be able to answer um, all the questions and why why this tragedy occurred. Neighbors meanwhile have been leaving flowers outside the family home turned crime scene. Hubbard said she just saw her great grandson over the Thanksgiving holiday and he told her he was excited about Christmas. He liked to cook. <laughs> which we were excited about. And uh, my daughter had made him a, or ordered him a chef's hat with his name on it and an apron. And so he brought that with him so he could help in the kitchen. And Hubbard went on to tell me that she got a picture of her great grandson on Christmas Day with his new skateboard, which he was excited to get. Uh, meanwhile, I can tell you that uh, Hughes is being held in jail, again, charged with capital murder. Back to you. All right, Alex Boyer at the Richland Hills Police Department. Thank you, Alex.